So a little while ago, I stayed over at Frank's house overnight, and when I left, I left behind some dry shampoo. And my friend was up late the next day, because we'd had a really late night. I had dashed off to do some work, and she sent me a message saying, would you mind if I use your dry shampoo? And I said, not a problem, go ahead. I get a message about half an hour later to say she had to wash her hair, because her hair turned white. And I realised that not everyone knows how to use dry shampoo properly. So I thought I would show you today. So I've tried a few different brands, I've tried some supermarket owned brands and a few others like that, but my favourite is currently the Batiste dry shampoo. And the best way to apply it, in my honest opinion, is if you know you're going to be running late the next day and your hair really needs a wash but you don't have time, or even sometimes it can just be that you want to give it a little bit of a juice, it's great for adding extra volume before styling, then apply it at night time because that really, really helps best not to overdo it, a little bit goes a long way, you need to apply more than apply more afterwards. But remember, it doesn't actually replace washing your hair. There's been some reports out recently about issues of a dry shampoo and that's more to do with over usage. It's great if you don't want to wash your hair every single day or it's dual wash on like day three or four and you just want to actually freshen it up because you're going to wash it later. So if you tend to just suffer at certain areas like around the fringe or the bangs, and down the sides around the ears, you can get away with just applying it there. If you want to add volume to all of your hair before styling, or all of your hair is looking a little bit like banky really, to be honest, then it's best to apply it through the hair. And all I do for this is I take up half of my hair, just from around the ears, and take it up in a bottle. It doesn't have to be neat or perfect, just to get it out of the way. So give it a good shake and then spray. It's about, I think it's like 20 to 30 centimetres, 30 centimetres. But you'll know what to do. And you can see a white residue. We'll start to appear. Pay attention around the ears because that's the area that doesn't need a bit more juicy. Then take that section down. You don't have to go this into detail if you don't want to, you can just spray it through your hair. But this way it does make it look a bit fresher and it will add more volume if you want it. Separate that next bit off and tie that up. Now they do have different colour dry shampoos. So you can get some that will actually help disguise your roots, but they don't do a ginger one. So you're missing a trick there, at least. And finally, just be a bit more careful around the hairline because you don't want to build up. And just around the front. And you can see that I've got a nice grey build up there. Give it a couple of moments to work through, and then juice your hair. And this is just to distribute it right the way through your hair. And pay special attention to the bits that people would see the most, so around the hairline and through the roots on your parting. And then finish it off by giving it a good brush through to get rid of any. If you like, sometimes if I'm in a real hurry, then I'll get my hair dryer out and blast it through my hair just to get rid of any of the excess powder or residue. And there we go. Freshened up, ready to go and a lot quicker for washing and drying your hair. And as you can see, it's given my hair quite a bit of volume and added a bit of my shape to it as well, which is great when you're gonna style, especially if you're going to curl and pin your hair up. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it. Please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe down below.